Hey guys, what's up? It's Alicia. It's been a little while since I've made a YouTube video. I know I'm well aware I slacked a little bit. You've heard the story many times, oh I'm coming back to YouTube, I'm going to make videos, I'm going to do this and that. Well, I kind of didn't end up doing it. I don't really know what the reason was. I can say that I got busy, I can say that, you know, life, whatever, but I just wasn't really into it, I guess, at the time. I've been asked a few times in real life if I could start making videos again. Um, people were interested in me kind of just teaching them about makeup, doing makeup, seeing what I can do, all of that. So I've kind of needed, you know, to be a little bit more creative. I feel just kind of like blah, so I wanted to really start filming again. So I'm here. If anyone is new to my channel, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, I really hope that we can kind of work together to make this channel what you guys want. If you have any ideas for what you'd like me to do, anything you'd like me to film, just let me know. Um, and if you are not new and you've been here for a little while asking constantly when I'm making videos, well, here I am. So I apologize for kind of being very not consistent with my channel. It's it's been pretty bad. I was good for quite a while, you know, back in the day, <laughs> but I kind of got out of it. But I really do want to start filming again. I miss just playing with makeup. I really barely even wear makeup anymore, so I just want to really get back into it. I did end up purchasing a few new products the other day that I wanted to try out, so I figured I would do kind of like a chit chat, get ready with me type of situation. We have some thunderstorms going on outside, so if you hear anything, that's probably what it is. Um, but I just wanted to have some fun, play with the new stuff I got, and talk to you guys a little bit. So if you'd like to see kind of what we can do and talk a little bit, then just keep on watching. All right guys, so the other day I ended up going to Mac and Sephora and I picked up a few different things. I ended up getting the MAC Studio Face and Body um, Foundation. I've been wanting to try this for a long time, so I decided to finally pick it up. I figured during the summer it'll be nice to kind of give not too much coverage, but at least cover up a little bit, and I needed something that matches my tan because I'm relatively dark, so I figured that would be a perfect um, new foundation to try out. And also while I was there, they had tons of these still in stock, and this is the Patrick Star Summer Star Collection. And this is the entire collection, um, and it was only like $49, I think. And you end up getting the two lip glasses, the four pan eyeshadow palette, and the bronzing powder. So I thought it was actually a really good deal, so I picked it up. So we'll see how those products perform. I did swatch them, and they were beautiful, so I'm hoping that they work out. And then when I went to Sephora, I ended up getting the Becca Be A Light palette. It actually reminds me a lot of the um, Hourglass palettes, so I want to see kind of how they compare. I do love Becca. I use mostly all of their highlighters is what I use. So I figured I would give this a try. And this is for the medium to deep skin tones, so we'll see how it works out. All right, so to get started, we'll just do brows. And I'm using the um, Kat Von D Signature Brow Pencil. So I've been liking this a lot. Um, I do like how the tip is on it. I don't know if you can tell, but it's actually more flat. So it's kind of like rounded on the top, but it's very narrow. Like if I turn it this way, you might be able to tell the difference. Um, but I actually really like it, and I like how it does stay on really well, and it applies super easy. So what have you guys been up to? I've missed you guys a ton and I just, I know that I've been slacking big time on this channel. I really want to try and make it just kind of fun and I don't want to try and, you know, just kind of go by what's popular on YouTube, I guess. I just want to do what's fun for me to do um, on YouTube. It's kind of hard, I guess, to really thrive from what I've seen, but I don't really care about that. I just want to you know, be entertaining and show you guys and educate you guys on at least what I know and definitely learn from people I watch and you guys as well because I'm sure that you guys know a lot about makeup and you could all teach me something. We can all teach each other something. You can always learn from other people. So that's kind of what I want to do on my channel. I just kind of want it to be more like education based and just have fun and do a bunch of different types of looks and just be creative. <laughs> it doesn't really help when you apply your eyebrow pencil with the spoolie. It doesn't really work that way. So as I was saying, I just kind of want to be more creative on this channel and do 
just stuff that I'm interested in. I don't really care if I use like old palettes or stuff that I have because that's kind of the point of having makeup. You use and buy what you like and I don't want to just use a palette once and never use it again because that's a total waste of money. You know, I'm someone who works for my products that I buy and it's pointless to just use it once in my opinion and never use it again. So we'll definitely be bringing back some older palettes, some limited edition stuff I think and we'll just go from there. I kind of don't want to have like a set thing. I just want to have fun and talk to you guys and be able to educate you guys and teach you what I know. So how does that sound? Good? Maybe? <laughs> Alright, so the eyebrows are done for now, so I guess we'll get on to um, foundation. So normally for my primer, I use the Bobbi Brown um, Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I love this stuff. It's super nourishing for the skin, and I find that it does a great job um, being a primer as well for foundation. So I've used this stuff for, oh my gosh, like two years, I think. So I really like it. It works. So now that that's applied, let's try out this foundation here. All right, so again, I ended up getting the MAC Face and Body Foundation, and this one is an N7. I'm hoping that the color will be okay. Um, when I swatched it in store, it seemed fine, but we'll give it a try. If not, I can always lighten it up, so it's not a huge deal. And just for the record, my face is a lot lighter than the rest of my body because I do put um, a higher SPF sunscreen on my face. So that's why it looks so much different than my actual skin color on my face. gonna put a tiny bit more on just because obviously it's a little bit more of a natural coverage um, than most foundations and I'm used to a more full coverage foundation so I'll just put a little bit more on just to get some more coverage and a little bit more evenness and then I think we'll be good I don't know if you guys can hear that thunder outside but it's kind of crazy I'm like not even used to wearing foundation, so it looks so weird on my skin. But we're going to change that now, aren't we? <laughs> Alright, so I think that that actually matches pretty well to what the rest of my body looks like. Um, you can definitely still see like all my freckles and everything, which I kind of like for the summer. I've changed a little bit with what I think I prefer in makeup. Um, for like the summertime, I just like it to be a little bit more natural and you can kind of see, you know, the freckles and everything. And I just want it to be a little bit more evened out. So I actually really like this so far. So hopefully it's um, a nice long wearing foundation. I know I've used it when I did makeup on people kind of back when I did YouTube before. Um, I used this on a couple of brides that I did makeup for their weddings and it lasted awesome and it was fairly waterproof. Um, so, and they actually really liked it, so I think that it's a good choice. So for my concealer, I've been using this for quite a while. It's the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and I've been using number 35 Deep, in case you're wondering. Uh, but I got this back in April, I think, and I've actually been really liking it. And I find that it doesn't really crease on me either, so that's always a plus. And I've also been using a concealer that's kind of more closer to my skin tone. Um, I kind of don't really like the overly highlighted look anymore, so I've been going for this and it just gives a nice natural coverage and it just looks very good in my opinion. All right. And to kind of set the under eye and around where I concealed, I have been using the Patrick Star powder that he came out with a while ago with his last matte collection. This stuff is amazing and I was really hoping that they were going to bring this back um, for his summer collection, but unfortunately they didn't. But this is one of the best loose powders I've ever used. Um, it doesn't get cakey, it goes on 
beautiful and it just blends in so nicely to the skin so I wish they would bring it back because it's an amazing powder and if you guys can just let me know what you think of the lighting um, <laughs> I had to kind of re-season myself into lighting for YouTube videos because it's been a hot minute um, so just let me know what you think of this setup it might change because it is a little bit darker outside now because it's storming um, but just let me know what you think and if you like this if you want me to change anything I do have a ring light as well um, but I'm trying to see how this setup goes because I do want my background to be a little bit lighter kind of like it is now so just let me know your thoughts on it so I'm just going to quickly powder my face I'm going to just do a light kind of brush a powder. I'm using the MAC Studio Fix Powder in NC45 and I'm using a Royal and Langnickel powder brush for that. So we're just going to kind of dust this over. I'm not doing a ton of this because I don't want it to be super full coverage. I actually really like this foundation. It matches really well to my skin. So I'm happy with that so far. Alright, so for my bronzer, I'm going to jump into this Becca Be A Light palette. It's super reflective, but this is kind of what the top of the packaging looks like. And once you open it, it is beautiful. It has a huge mirror right there, as you can see outside. <laughs> and it does have a brightening powder in here, and it also has a blurring powder, and then it has a bronzer and a blush. So I'm thinking that I'm going to take probably these two and mix them and I'll use them kind of as a bronzer um, and I do plan to use the blush in here because when I swatched it it's so beautiful and on tan skin it's amazing so I definitely wanted to give that a try. So I'm just going to take another Royal and Lang nickel brush. I love these brushes. You can get them just at Walmart. Um, they come in a pack, I believe, and I think you can get a couple of them separate. But this is the Royal and Lang nickel contour brush. It's amazing and I use it pretty much every day that I do wear makeup um, to do my bronzer so let's see how this shows up on my skin because I am pretty tan at the moment so I don't know how well it's going to show up but I'm not going for like a contour chiseled look I just want to be bronzed Normally what I use for bronzer is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. It's my absolute favorite. Um, they have a few different shades and they do have one that's dark enough for me to use while I'm tan. So I absolutely love that bronzer. And you can build it so it doesn't get cakey either, which is nice. And now I'm just taking more of that bronzer shade itself. I'm just kind of blending that in. This is really pretty. It's definitely a more natural bronze, but I actually really like it. Kind of goes with the whole skin look I'm going for right now anyway, so it works. So next I am just going to go in with my highlighter. I'm using Becca's Opal. This is just kind of like a sample size. Um, I've had it for a little while. And again, using another Royal and Lang Nickel brush. This is the Highlight and Glow brush. And we're just going to apply that. I love this highlighter. It's amazing for the summertime. It doesn't work quite well for me in the winter because I do get actually really pale. Um, and it's a little too kind of like ashy looking, but with a tan it looks amazing. Alrighty, and next we're going to go into the blush that is from that Becca palette. It's right here. It's absolutely beautiful. And I am just using actually my Sephora VIB Rouge brush. This is like my favorite brush to use when I am applying blush. It's just like, I don't know, it fits perfectly right on my cheekbones and it's so soft and it diffuses the product amazing. So I've been using it. I have two of them and it's like my favorite thing to use. Um, just as an FYI, this is super pigmented, so I picked up way too much, um, but we'll just go with it and use it on both sides. How about that? <laughs> oh, this blush is so pretty. Oh, 
All right, let's blend this out just a little bit here. So far, I'm really liking how my skin is looking. So A plus so far in all of these products. And just kind of to set everything in place, I am going to take the blur powder that's in this palette as well. And I'm going to take that on my Sigma Large Powder Brush. I use this to um, set my face when I'm using my hourglass powder, so we'll use it for this one as well. And I just kind of like to do an overall powder with these and just blend everything into place. So for a first impression for the Be A Light palette, I love it. Um, the only thing I don't like is obviously for the packaging, you can see fingerprints all over it, but it is beautiful. Um, I do like the products that are in the palette, so I mean, to see fingerprints on a palette's not a huge deal for me if the product works well. Um, but I absolutely love the combination that's in here. This is a great bronzer. And initially, kind of to do an overall, I did mix two of these. Um, but you can always just use one or the other. It's totally up to you. So if you do have a similar skin tone to me, this one would be probably the best bet for you. They did have a light to medium palette as well. So it might be worth checking out if you do have a lighter skin tone than I do. All right, so next, let's break into this bad boy. This is, again, the Patrick Star Summer Star Palette. And this comes with um, a nice little face chart in here. That's actually really cool. I like that. And on the back, it just says, Heat Stroke makes the best stroke. Show me how you get your best summer glow. Patrick Star, and it has all of his social media information on the back. So if you use it and want to tag him in it, that's where you can find them. All right, so they have everything wrapped in kind of like a pinky coral wrapping paper. And the first two things are the lip glosses. And the names of these are Cream Pie is this one, and Fashion Punch is the second one that's in here. So those are super pretty. The next thing we have is the bronzer. And I think this is really, really pretty. This is what the packaging looks like on it too. I like the packaging and the color combo. And the name of this one is Give Me Life. And last but not least, we have the eyeshadow quad. This is what the packaging looks like on here. And this is what the shadows look like. They are very, very pretty. When I swatched them, I absolutely loved them. So I definitely wanted to give this a try. I thought that it would be an awesome summer palette. Um, I really like kind of the rust tones on tan skin. So we'll see how this plays out. I do actually want to take a little bit of this bronzer just because I want to try it out and kind of just see, oh, that's really pretty, what it looks like on. It's not like super obvious on my skin, again, because I am pretty tan, but I think when I'm a little bit paler, it'll look awesome, but I do like it, and it's super easy to apply. It doesn't apply patchy or anything. That's pretty. So again, this is the Give Me Life bronzing powder, and they did have a bunch in stock at my MAC um, in Macy's, so definitely check out your local MAC if you're interested. You can also try out probably a CCO. I don't know if any of you have those near you, but um, it's kind of a place where you can get discounted higher-end makeup products. So maybe once this product isn't really available in MAC anymore, um, you might be able to get it there. So definitely just keep your eye out. I usually am able to find pretty good finds um, at those types of stores. So definitely make sure to keep your eye out. Alrighty, so to prime my eyes, I'm just going to use my MAC Lay and Low Paint Pot. And I am just using a Sedona Lay 618 brush. And we're just going to prime those eyelids. And to set that, I'm just taking a skin tone shadow, nothing in particular. This one just happens to be from my Viseart palette, um, just to set my eyeshadow primer. Alright, so before we get started um, doing eyeshadow, I just want to 
finish up my brows. This is what I usually do. I end up doing my foundation and all of my face first. And I'll go in and fix my brows because um, sometimes I kind of make a mess. So I'll just go in and retouch them up. And then I'll just go in with a tinted brow gel. This one I think is from L'Oreal. Everything's rubbed off on it and I always get the same one. I just look for the packaging, but I'm pretty sure it's a L'Oreal one. And I just run this through my brows and just gives kind of added color to them and it sets them throughout the day. So my camera just stopped recording. I don't know if you guys got everything, but like I said, I was just kind of running my brow gel through my brows and just touching them up. The brows are done, I think for now. <laughs> So we're just going to curl my lashes. I always do this first, kind of to give them a chance to chill a little bit, but I find that they stay better with mascara when I curl them before I start doing everything. It's kind of funny, because on this eye, my eyelashes stay curled. On this one, they kind of just always go straight, so I don't really know why they do that, but. To start off, I am going to be taking this shadow here um, from the Patrick Star Palette and I am just using a Morphe M433 brush and let's just run this into the crease. The only thing I do wish with the matte quads is that they came with a mirror because I'm always like looking at something that's not even there um, and I like to kind of have a mirror really up close when I'm doing my eyeshadows. So. I do wish that they put a mirror in their quads. Next I'm just going to take this darker brown shadow here and I'm just going to use the same brush and kind of concentrate this more on the outer corners and slightly blend it up into the crease but not too far. So I don't know how many of you guys, probably none of you really know this, um, but I am also a Zumba fitness instructor in addition to my day job. Um, but unfortunately, I haven't been able to teach because I got hurt. So that's kind of another reason why I wanted to start my channel back up and really kind of focus on it and be creative because I haven't been able to dance and I haven't been able to choreograph and I just kind of feel like I need to do something. So I do want to keep this going obviously once I'm back to teaching, but that's kind of a huge reason why I've been kind of going back and forth with restarting my channel. Because injuries take quite a while to heal, unfortunately. So we're working slowly but surely to get better, but going to take a while I think unfortunately. I'm going back in again with that darker brown and really just keeping it on the outer V area. These shadows blend amazing. They're just super pigmented and easy to blend which I know in the older matte quads I had a harder time um, with pigmentation. They did blend well and I've never had an issue with MAC shadows really. There's, you know, one here and there, but for the most part, I've always liked them. Um, but this is actually super pigmented and really easy to blend. And I don't see any patchiness or anything, which is amazing. All right, so that's what we have so far. Trying to think of which one I want to go in with next. So these are the two kind of more shimmery. They're like a more satin finish. Um, but there's the reddish one and kind of like the pink. What I might do, I might do like the reddish one kind of on towards the more outer part of my eyelid and then do the more pinky toned one on the inner. You can try that and see how it goes. So I'm just going to take my Sedona Lace 954 brush and I'll go in with that redder shadow here. So what do you guys do for hobbies or anything? I kind of want to know a little bit more about the people who watch my videos. Um, I just kind of want to learn a little bit about you. So what hobbies do you guys do? Um, do any of you do Zumba? Because that would be cool and we can talk about that. Because I can talk about that for days and days and days on end. 
um, if you do go to Zumba classes or if you're an instructor, are you going to the Zumba convention? Because I'm a little bit jealous if you are. <laughs> I was supposed to be going, but unfortunately, that is not happening due to my injury, which kind of sucks, but there's always next year. My focus needs to be on getting better so I can get back to my students, so we'll keep it there. <laughs> All right. And I'm just going to go in with that lighter pink shade. I'm using the same brush. I'm just going to flip it over. And we'll put this on the inner portion of the lid. And I'm just going to kind of blend it on top of that deeper red color. I'm actually really liking how this looks so far, so we'll go with it. All right, so for the lower lash line, I'm kind of going to do a combination of the two mattes, and then I'll probably end up using the lighter pink on the inner corner. So what I'm going to do is just blend those two mattes together and apply those to the lower lash line. This is just a Sedona Lace 904 brush. And then to apply the pink shade, I'm just going to take a Sedona Lace EB23 brush and apply that on the inner part of the lower lash line. I'm also too going to put that in the inner corner and I'm going to put a highlight on top of it just so it has a little bit more of a pink tinge to it, we'll say. I'm just going to blend out my edges a little bit. What do you guys think? I think this is super pretty. I really like the color combination and it's really nice for summer. I think it's actually a perfect summer palette. Um, I'm sure that they thought about that when they were creating the palette, but it's just absolutely beautiful. This would be really nice on deep skin tones as well. I feel like these type of ready goldy colors kind of go really well at deep skin tones. So definitely check this out if you have not tried it already. So to highlight my inner corner, I'm just going to take the Kat Von D Alchemist palette and I am using the pink opal shadow that's on the bottom here. And I'm just gonna place that right in the inner corner. And then for my under brow highlight, I'm just going to go back in with my Becca opal highlighter. And I'm using the same brush and just going right underneath the brow. Alright, so I think the eyeshadow is done. I actually really like how it came out. Um, so I'm just going to go and do my eyeliner, mascara, and lashes off camera. And I will be right back to show you how we're going to finish the look. Alright guys, so in case you are wondering which lashes I am using, I actually got these, I think at like Walmart or something. But they're the Kiss Lash Couture Foam Minx Collection. They are beautiful. They're not really expensive at all. I think I paid maybe like seven bucks for them. I don't know, They I got them a while ago, but they really weren't expensive at all. And they're super soft, they're really fluttery, and I just love them, they're really easy to apply to. They have a more thicker band than some of the, say like Ardell ones, um, but they're really easy to apply and they're nice and flexible, so I would definitely check these out. I highly recommend them. If you don't wanna spend you know, a ton of money, like I don't really spend a lot of money on lashes, because um, I don't wear them often enough to spend a crap ton of money on them. So I actually really like these. They're really pretty. They're super comfortable too. They're obviously a little bit heavier um, than like a regular kind of wispy lash, but I really like them. So I would highly recommend them. All right, so to finish off this little get ready with me here, let's do some lips. So I'm taking my Milani lip liner and this one is in 04 All Natural. So let's just line our lips. All 
And then I think I'm going to take the Fashion Punch lip gloss and put this over top. It definitely has like a light vanilla scent to it. This is so pretty. I've been getting more into lip glosses lately. I actually despised them before, um, but I've actually been using quite a few of them. I recently purchased the Bite Beauty French Press lip glosses, and I know that these are limited edition, but they're friggin' amazing. So I would definitely get your hands on them if you can. Um, they smell a little bit like coffee, which is awesome, and they're really comfortable. I find them to be pretty long wearing, especially for a gloss. They last on me for quite a while, and they're really moisturizing. I also find this one to be really comfortable. Um, I don't find it sticky at all, and it went on pretty even. So I actually really like it. It's very pretty. So again, this one is the Fashion Punch lip gloss from the Patrick Star Collection. So make sure to check that out if you like this shade. So last but not least, I'm just going to set my face using the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I had to put mine in the travel size bottle because my bigger bottle um, pump broke. So I have this, so I might as well just use it. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so I really hope that you all enjoyed this get ready with me. I kind of just wanted to get your ideas on what you'd like me to do for videos. Just kind of sit down and actually talk to you guys. I know on my videos before I didn't really like actually talk to you and kind of, you know, let you guys in on what I actually do outside of makeup when I was into making videos. So I kind of just wanted to give you a little sneak peek into what I do um, and why I've been gone. So if we can just kind of make this a nice little community, I just want to have fun. I don't want it to necessarily be about like what the hottest thing is every two seconds. I just want to have fun, sit down with you guys, and play with makeup. So if that's something that you're interested in, I would really appreciate it if you guys would subscribe. And also make sure to hit the little notification bell. I guess that's the new way of subscribing to people because it will let you know when I upload videos. So just make sure that you hit that bell if you are interested in watching any of my future videos. I'll also have a list of everything that I use down below and make sure to please check out that Patrick Star collection if you haven't as well as um, the Be A Light palette from Becca. I think that these are amazing. And like I said, there is a light to medium skin tone range as well for that so make sure to check it out. I did get mine at my local Sephora, so you should be able to find it at your local Sephora as well, or I'm sure that they still have it online. I will link it down below for you if they still do. So I really hope that you guys like this video. Please make sure to leave a comment below. Um, I think that we should kind of do like a theme, you know, like a question or something at the end of the video. So I would like to know what your favorite hobby is to do. So make sure to list that down below so we can kind of talk about all of our different hobbies and we can get to know each other a little bit better. Alright guys, I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye.